Many women come to me worried after hearing their gynecologist say, you have a poor ovarian reserve. It sounds frightening, doesn't it? But what does it really mean and what can you do about it? Let's break it down together. Every woman is born with a fixed number of eggs. As she grows older, this number gradually declines. But here's something important. It's not just your age and years that matters, but your biological age, which depends on how many eggs you still have left in your ovaries. That's what we call ovarian reserve, a measure of your remaining egg supply. Now, how do we test this? There are a few key indicators doctors look at, FSH levels on day 3 of your cycle. If your FSH is high, it's a sign that your ovaries are struggling. The Clomiphene Citrate Challenge Test, or CCCT, which measures how your ovaries respond to stimulation. And more recently, we use AMH, anti-malarian hormone, levels and anthral follicle count, AFC, from a vaginal ultrasound. These tests help us estimate the quantity of eggs left, but remember, numbers don't always tell the whole story. Think of FSH as the fuel your brain sends to your ovaries. When your eggs are healthy, the ovary needs just a little fuel to function well. But as egg quality declines, the ovary becomes less responsive, so the brain sends more FSH to push harder. So, a higher FSH doesn't mean more eggs. It means your ovaries are working harder to do the same job. Now, many women ask me, but my periods are regular, doesn't that mean my eggs are fine? Not necessarily. Regular periods simply mean your ovaries are producing enough hormones to keep your cycle going. They don't guarantee that your eggs are healthy enough for pregnancy. In fact, even young women with regular cycles can sometimes have poor ovarian reserve, what some experts call upos or early ovarian aging. So what can we do if your ovarian reserve is low? Sadly, we can't create new eggs, but we can make the best use of the ones you still have. Some women try DHEA supplements, wheat germ, yoga, or acupuncture to improve ovarian blood flow and response. While the results vary, it often gives peace of mind to know you've tried everything. When it comes to fertility treatment, IVF is usually the best option. For women with poor ovarian response, we often use special protocols like the Letrozolintagonist protocol or minimal stimulation IVF designed to gently encourage your ovaries to produce the best possible eggs. Even if we retrieve fewer eggs, what truly matters is quality, not quantity. Sometimes, if the response remains poor despite all efforts, we may gently discuss donor eggs as an alternative, but that's always your choice and never something to rush into. The key takeaway? Don't get obsessed with your numbers. FSH, AMH and AFC are just guides, they don't define your fertility or your worth. The real proof lies in how your ovaries respond during treatment. And remember, one good egg can make one good embryo and one baby. Every woman's fertility journey is unique. My goal as your doctor is to give you clear, honest information so you can make the best choices for yourself with confidence and peace of mind. If you want to understand what your ovarian reserve results really mean for your IVF chances, book a free video consultation with me today. Let's talk about your results, your options and your best path forward together. I'm Dr. Anirudh Malpani, helping you make informed, confident choices on your IVF journey.